Pisces Brigade family, I am going to be showing you how to make these precious memorial wing ornaments for Christmas for your loved ones. I made this one personally for my Nana and they are just so beautiful so I'm going to do a video on it because I wasn't able to find how to attach them and how to um, how to fill them with the floating um, disc inside so I'm going to show you how to do that today. So today I will be making a gold pair of wings. Um, this is the gold pair of wings I got from the Dollar Tree and it has the feathers on the back side and um, this is the white pair. So they come in gold white and like a rose gold color. So you're going to need a pair of wings. Um, you're going to need some faux snow. You're going to need a disc ornament. I got all of these items from the Dollar Tree actually. You're going to need your glue gun. And this did not come from the Dollar Tree, but you are going to need this inkjet printing film. I got this off of Amazon. I will link it below. You want to get the sheets that you can put in your printer. It's kind of like um, transfer paper um, or it's kind of like the film that you use for projectors. Um, if anyone remembers teachers writing on it for school. So I did purchase this off of Amazon and I will let you know down below where I got it from. I'm going to show you, you can print with this kind of inkjet printing film. You can print with color, um, but it does need to be a crystal clear um, background and it works best with the darker um, things for behind it. As you can see, instead of having the lighter. Um, for the ornament so you can put photos in these ornaments just to give you kind of example how the color comes out because when I was looking at Amazon I saw that there were a lot of different um, printing film but you had to either get color or black in um, or black one so these you can print both you can do all black or you can do all color so we're going to go over to the Cricut and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do while you're in Cricut It would be so great if you would go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We do many different things, whatever comes to mind, whatever we um, are feeling like to record and to upload. So go ahead and it would mean so much to us if you would subscribe to our channel and go ahead and give us a like. Okay, so we're now in the Cricut program. Um, I did not go into details on how to use it as far as how to create what you're going to say. Um, you should know at this point if you're on this video um, how to do this. But you're going to have your wordings and your settings set where they are going to be um, attached and flattened. And as you can see, these are my measurements that I chose for the flat ornaments. Um, and you are just going to hit make it. This is going to be a, a cut and print item and you are going to go ahead and hit apply to and that way you will not be wasting any of your film you can get two of these on there if you make them smaller um, I didn't make them smaller yet but if you make them smaller you might be able to put three on there after you get um, uh, apply to you do want to move them over and kind of like adjust them um, within the program so that they can print more into the center and you want to do this so that then you'll have more of an edge space for when you go to cut them out after they print. And they're going to print just like this with the box around it. So you just want to kind of like make sure that you're keeping that in mind when you're sizing it. Uh, all ornaments are different. So you might not be using the same size ornament as, um, as I am today. So you might want to go ahead and make... Um, in the, um, the Cricut um, home setting area on the canvas, um, your item bigger. Okay, so once you've printed out um, your sayings, these are my sayings for my ornaments, you're going to want to do like a cutting rim around them like this. 
I left the space below on mine for personalization and um, but I, I just wing it I don't have like a specific measurement for it because you can use the round um, disc ornaments or you can use the flat disc ornaments what I'm using today but you kind of want to take your ornament and you want to kind of like make like a little guide for it as you can see here um, you want it to kind of be a little bit bigger so there's no exact measurement to this once you get it printed out on your Cricut um, you also want to kind of like round or curve your edges before you put it inside. It just will make it fit better when it comes down to putting them together. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start putting them together. So the first thing that I do is I take the top off of my ornament and... You're going to want to roll it with the image on the outside, just like this. You want to roll your image up. Just enough so that it will fit inside of your ornament. I'm going to slide it down within. And as you can see, this is why you want to kind of curve your edges a little bit because you want them to hug your ornament. And you kind of want to slide it down and you want to adjust it to your liking. You'll be able to see exactly when it's straight. So as you can see, you can still see through your ornament. When you turn it this way, you kind of just want to have it flush. And you want to kind of like take maybe like a... Um, a pencil or a paintbrush and that'll help you out with getting it and then also these ornaments hold the the fur from the feathers so you do want to clean those off in the end okay so the next step is we're going to take some of our snow so i already have a package open you really don't need that much snow so you you can reuse it and you just wanna pour in some. I know I'm kind of making a mess, but it's okay. Cause it all can be um, picked up. And you just kinda wanna do it like this. Now I put my snow on after, I put it in there after, but if you choose, you can put it on in before, however you like. Um, but as you can see, as you can see, this works very well with memory ornaments if you want to put a photo in it. It's very beautiful. So at this point, you're going to want to put your top back on your ornament. This can be kind of tricky because the metal part at the top likes to bend and you just have to kind of like take your time and put it back on here. Just like that, it'll snap back together. You can put as much of the snow is in, in here as you like. They also have like um, little puff thingies, but it kind of static clings to it a little bit. So it makes for like, it makes very pretty, um, makes it look very pretty in the end with just a little bit because it will stick and fill in all of the little spaces. Okay, so our next step will um, be attaching the wings. Now I find that this can be the most difficult part. And, um, the, it, you know, you just have to kind of like figure what works best for you. But I find, let me see if I can put it in view. When I, when I glue them just like this, you're going to have a gap as you can see, but you only want a little bit of, um, glue on there and it will hold. I, I, I hot glue it. You kind of want to make sure that all of your feathers are back. And I'm just going to hot glue it just so that it rests just like this with that gap. Just like that. Okay. 
my hot glue gun is ready. And you kind of want to move quick and you want to kind of be accurate because you cannot come back under the wings once you've laid your ornament down. And you don't want too much because you want it to be very neat. Make sure you have your ornament facing the right direction because I've done that before. You kind of want to center it. I hope you're able to see that. You kind of want to center it and you just want to hold it there. Oh. You just want to hold it there. It doesn't take long for hot glue to set, but you do want to make sure that you have it um, good and sealed on there before you move it. I'm trying to keep it in frame here. Now, at this point, you can kind of look at, let me see if I can back this up a little bit. Okay, so at this point, you can kind of tell if your wording is set right or if it needs to move a little bit. And you can still take off your lid and move it and adjust it. But in the end, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna place just a couple of dots of hot glue around your um, around the top of the ornament just so that it will be able to once you put your ribbon on there or however you want to hang it you're going to want to have it secured so that it can hold the weight of both your ornament and your wings so our ornament is all done you want to cut off your tags you want to be very careful with this one because this one has um, staples in it and I leave this just like this um, the other ones I didn't I undid them um, but I like it better just to allow um, whoever is using their wings to use them as they like because they can hang it from here for a little extra support and I have this satin ribbon um, and I take it and I loop it through just like this. And you wanna finish it off at the top, however you would like with a knot or a bow. I just choose like a simple little knot. And here's your finished wings. They are so beautiful, they are so precious. And I just love them so much. It's a great way to remember your loved one to hang them on your tree, and just to have a piece of them during the holidays. Okay, well, hey, I wanna thank you for watching this video. I hope you like these memorial wings. They are just so precious, and I love them so much. Please go ahead and consider subscribing to our channel and giving us a like if you really enjoyed this video. Also, you can check out these wings in our store below if you like to have a pair. We make them very preciously for your loved ones. And we want to say Merry Christmas to you. I want to thank you for watching this video. Signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.